This is a tutorial on the copper pores for the PC Builder software. More helpful links may be found under Help Tutorials Additional Tutorials on the PC Builder's Tips and Tools webpage. One can add a copper pore area by left clicking on Add Copper Pore Area and selecting a shape type. Begin to draw out the pore outline. Click when done. Hit Escape to turn off adding any more copper pores. Change the layer the poor outline will appear on by hitting L on the keyboard when the poor outline is selected. The fidelity of the poor will depend on the copper poor outline's thickness. The thinner the line, the higher the fidelity, and the thinner the areas that can be reached. This may make some copper features too thin for manufacturing. The outline of a copper pore area will not output to the final product, so it will not short your board. One can test this by printing the layer the copper pore is on. To pour the copper, right click while the pore outline is selected and click Pour Copper. Select a net for the copper pore. Copper pores will connect to any copper object that is on the same net and avoid any copper object that is not. Left click OK when ready to pour. Remember to pour copper again after any changes to the board design. Copper pour spacing rules are located in the Shapes row in Settings, Spacings. Pad connection options are found under the properties of a pad. Right click on a pad and select Properties. There will be a plain connection drop down there. Do not add copper pores to auto-generated power plane layers. Plane layers are negative layers. Adding a copper pore to these layers will remove copper. This can be shown by turning off all layers and going to View, Power Planes, Show. This concludes this tutorial on copper pores. More information on copper pores may be found in Help Context Help under Copper Pores and by emailing layouthelp at 4pcb.com.